One day when I was walking home from school, I noticed one of the ironing men in my street using charcoal. Charcoal contributes to air pollution and creates more toxic pollutants. So I researched for a viable solution to prevent air pollution and increase air quality. full-scale prototype and everything was working. I rode it across the street and I charged my mobile phone. Everything was working really well. At that moment, it clicked to me that this innovation could change the system of ironing clothes completely in this country. Hi everyone, I am Lance Lau, I'm 11 years old and I am a local climate activist from Hong Kong. I started uh, striking uh, after I heard from Greta Thunberg about the climate emergency. I typically strike on Friday. I speak to people um, that's on the street, walking by, and educate them about what they can do to help stop this problem. Extreme weather, extreme temperatures, these will all hit us harder and hit us more frequently. We have to start acting now before it's too late. If we don't act now, climate change will only worsen me and my generation will be the ones most affected. That's why I've been striking to raise awareness about this problem. Now, the beach cleanups, I typically do that once a month. I do sometimes beach, sometimes mangrove. Um, so there's this mangrove I was doing today, and that's pretty much my backyard, I guess I'd call it. So I feel like I have a bit of a responsibility, I guess, to clean that up. I'm hacking at this ghost net. So if we free the ghost net, that can help a lot of animals from not getting trapped. Now, typically what I pick up there is styrofoam. There's a lot of that, washes in all the time, and it just goes into the bushes, which is really annoying, because the animals all eat it. I get a lot of one-time plastics, chip bags, uh, plastic bottles, because lots of people go there. They love to either party, or they go there to dig for like oysters, uh, they always leave a lot of trash on site because A, there's no rubbish bin, B, it's more convenient to litter. So that's what they do. Dust stock. Oh my god. Oh, I think okay. it's glass. 
There's still crabs inside. Okay, yeah, lots more. Well, I feel very thankful for everyone who's joined my cleanup, and um, I feel, well, pretty happy to be able to um, help the community, I guess. My biggest target, I guess, is for the government, um, the world, to declare climate emergency and start acting. The public can do a lot on a personal level, and with more power, we can more easily uh, ask the government or any big companies to change. Because if everyone's educated about climate change, they'll start making climate conscious decisions, which causes big companies and the government to suit them. We've gotten ourselves into a bit of trouble, but there is still hope if we start acting now. And remember, action has to come before hope. There's hope, but before that, there must be action.